We let high school athletes play on the biggest stage. The football teams played their state championship game at Mile High Stadium, and just this week the soccer teams played their title games where the Colorado Rapids play in Commerce City. So why not do the same for other high school activities? High school theater students are walking the red carpet right this moment at the Ellie Calkins Opera House in Denver, where they will learn later tonight who wins the Bobby G Awards. What are the Bobby G's? Celebrating high school theater students similar to athletes. Perry holds the key to your heart. The cast of Anastasia at Lakewood High School is taking extra steps to rehearse for an award ceremony tonight where these students are up for best musical. I had to explain what it was to my parents and then they're like, that's awesome. Like, I had no idea what that was, but that's so cool. <laughs> Recently graduated senior Noah Schuster is one of five high school theater students nominated for best actor. I feel very grateful, but excited. I mean, like, it's really cool. Graduated senior Morgan Fritzler is also nominated for lead actress based on her performance during the March run of Anastasia. But the winner of the Bobby G Award is based on a combination of how you did on stage and what you did last week. You performed 32 bars of a song from Anastasia or like whatever show you were nominated for. And then we had to prepare another musical theater piece and then we performed that in front of like a room of judges. And I'm just really grateful that all the hard work is recognized by people outside of our organization. Lakewood High School's theater director, Tammy Losasso, has earned two Bobby G Awards, which started in 2013. You have to be one of the first 50 schools to apply and pay the $200 fee, then perform and fill out some paperwork. They ask you questions like your demographics, what um, financial assistance you have from the school board, from the school, how much is based on ticket sales, what are some of your production obstacles. To look at a school that has a, a $50,000 budget to a school that has $6,000, that should not determine whether or not they receive a nomination. Claudia Carson is the awards program manager. She's throwing a party tonight that could rival prom. And they feel like they are in either LA or New York at an opening night of either a Broadway show or a movie. Lakewood's performance of Anastasia is nominated along with Chaparral's 9 to 5, Littleton High's Into the Woods, Overland's Sister Act, and Palmer Ridge High's Once Upon a Mattress. And soon all Perry will Each show that was nominated for best overall show like does one number um, at the Ellie Calkins Theater during the ceremony. I think the most nervous I was was for the re-audition. Um, and now I'm kind of just excited, like I get to perform at the Ali Calkins. It's something you almost have to feel, but it is magical for them. That is what the Bobby G's are. Who is Bobby G? Robert Garner, the person who brought Broadway shows to Denver in the first place. Other categories tonight include costume, hair, makeup, lighting, choreography. The winners of Best Actor and Actress go on to compete in the National Jimmy Awards in New York next month.